I'm Linda Hopwood, pastor of Ives Chapel United Methodist Church. We live in a very noisy world, and many of us are almost addicted to keeping busy. The idea of sitting quietly seems like a foreign concept. We have this misplaced sense of guilt that we are wasting time if we're not doing something. And yet, when we look to Jesus, we see examples of him intentionally finding time to be alone and looking for quiet places so that he can spend time sitting quietly in God's presence. In the Gospel of Mark, we get a sense of urgency about Jesus' ministry. He has an important message to share and limited time in which to share it. Mark packs a lot of information about Jesus and his work in just a few short verses. In the first chapter alone, we hear about Jesus being baptized, calling his first disciples, preaching that the kingdom of God is near, teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum, exorcising a demon, and then healing even more people later that same day. Then, early the next day, well before sunrise, Jesus gets up and goes to a deserted spot where he can be alone in prayer. What do we do after we've had a long, stressful day or week? I confess that I may seek to escape my stress, but my methods for escape aren't always the best choices. I've had a long-standing habit of grabbing a book and a snack and immersing myself in a fictional plot line to shut out the world around me. Jesus takes time to be still and to spend time with God in prayer. Despite the length of his to-do list, Jesus chooses to be with God, our creator and the source of life. If the Son of God needs to refocus, by listening to God's voice, then surely we do too. Building intentional time alone with God into our lives can bring us spiritual rest and help us to recharge our spiritual batteries. As we near the season of Lent, if you don't already have a habit of setting aside a daily quiet time to pray and to listen for God? Perhaps Lent is a good time for you to add this practice into your life. I encourage you to consider unplugging from all the electronic devices that create so much noise in our lives. And instead, plugging into the Holy Creator, the one who fully understands us and who loves us without limits. Amen.